What's up, Sim Races Larry TJ or Sim here, and today I'm going to give you a review under 10 minutes for these Blue D BD BH200 headphones here. These were sent to me for review purposes. This is of my own opinion, and this is not a scripted video, although I do have my notes. So let's get started. What's, uh, what's in the box, right? So obviously, headphones are in the box. You get a nice velour type bag here, which is really nice and handsome comes with the warranty on here, which these actually come with a 100% uh, guarantee. You just hook, hook up to them on Amazon or go straight to their website, which will be in the user manual that comes in the box. Uh, for if you have any problems with it, it's replaceable ear cups, uh, from what I understand and read. So, uh, it comes with a 3.5 millimeter jack, which is as important for later for if you wanna put it on your PC without using Bluetooth and overdrive them like I did. Uh, and then, of course, the USB-C to USB-A cable, USB-C to the headphones, USB-A to your PC. All right. All righty. So let's cover specs here of these uh, Blue D headsets here. So spec-wise, it comes with a, call, a Qual, Qualcomm Apex HD chip. So high-res audio is what was their uh, calling out here. Uh, has a uh, basically provides less delay from from the Bluetooth to your headset and a nice stable sound, no loss in music, right? It has also a Bluetooth 5.2 in here, which seems plenty adequate from my experience with these. 40 millimeter drivers for thump and bass and crisp highs. Obviously, like I said, Bluetooth 5.2, wireless uh, wireless and plug and play, or pl yeah, plug and play, so you can use a 3.5 millimeter jack to overdrive these on the PC, which is, if you're gaming on a PC, I do recommend that. Uh, ANC uh, switch here, so you have a nice ANC button here. So active noise canceling is what ANC stands for. It really works well, I can attest to that. And then of course you have your uh, multifunction buttons here, so your power on, power off, and your volume up and down controls. And it also gives all audible cues of what's going on. So when you hit ANC, you'll get an aud audible cue in the headset saying ANC on or ANC off. Although it's pretty apparent to, to you when you, you're noise canceling out, right? It's pretty active noise canceling. And then obviously for power on, you yeah, hold it for two seconds and uh, you'll, your blue light will start blinking here. And then if you hold it down for three or more seconds and a red light will beep. And it also tells you headset on, headset off. Volume control, when you know you're maxed out, you hear a little beep in your, in your, in your ear uh, through the headset of when you're maxed out volume. And so, yeah. And then also uh, you have a swivel. Uh, design here so it's swivel and then of course it folds in on itself like this for easy carrying in your in your pouch in your bag rather which works good very lightweight 8.6 ounces the play time on this is 50 hours i've used this for a solid week now pretty happy with them uh, i haven't had to charge it more more than just the original time charge time like it was two and a half hours and last 50 hours um, purposely, I purposely left these on all week as well and uh, just to see if it would drain the battery down or didn't drain it down. Still haven't had to charge it. It gives you a little beep uh, cue when you're down to like 20% of battery and haven't even reached that yet. Now with the playtime of these. So definitely are great travel headphones in my opinion. So, all right. Oh, oh and then also uh, one last thing is if you, you do need to hit a little quick charge, especially if you're someone like, say, flying international and stuff like I do at times. Um, a quick 10-minute charge will last you three hours is what they're claiming on there. I haven't had to put that to a test, but that is what is said. So, all right, let's get on next to my favorite part. My favorite part of these headsets here is features, right? What are they for? What audience are they for? I think this is probably for a good audience for travelers uh, that need to listen to music on the go. Great for your kids. It doesn't go too loud, and uh, it's loud enough. I would say the one con, really, there's only one con that I find on these headsets uh, that are that are uh, you, you should consider the price that you're paying for these uh, as well. But sixty-nine dollars, right, or seventy-nine dollars is a great price for these headsets. But the only con I have is they don't go loud enough. Uh, they're a little bit too quiet for my liking when you're using the uh, onboard amp, right? When you're just using the the power from the headset itself through there. Now, however, when you're you're playing with it on, say, your cell phone, uh, they work really good. They're uh, 
very powerful, very full, rich sounding, nice mid bass going on there, and some crisp highs. And so when I'm listening to some uh, Eminem or, or uh, anything with the uh, R&B and stuff, it sounds really good. Country sounds good on it as well. Uh, good rock, you need a little bit more highs, I think, but it sounds sounds good. It sounds really good with that. So. Sounds are all subjective, as I know, uh, and as you know, but uh, all, all in all, when you're using these with your phone, uh, they sound really good, and I am happy with, with the sound. They go loud enough for me, uh, but I can't overdrive them just to really rock out right when I really want to, but probably at the volume that I should be listening to, but keep that in mind. If you're someone that needs to listen to music really loud, uh, you might want to uh, reconsider, right? So. Proper pressure. So when you put these on your head, uh, so obviously like any headphones, is a lot of them put too much pressure on my head. These actually put an adequate amount of pressure just to hold them on, so it doesn't really wiggle when I shake my head. But uh, it's not uh, just jamming in my ears, say like my Sony Pulse headsets that I have over there, the original ones that came out with the PlayStation 5. Uh, they just put way too much pressure on my head, too much clamping force. This clamping force is just right. So if you're someone with a similar size a noggin like me, which is 59 centimeters around, uh, these will actually fit you really well and you can wear them for, for long, long periods of time. Now I find wearing these for say two hours is, you know, I, I need to take a little bit of a breather because these are made obviously of the leatherette material in here. I do like that it's labeled L, L and R, which is good because I game at night so I can easily see it. Uh, but uh, this leatherette, which by the way is memory foam in here, so they feel real nice and plush against your ear. The ear cup hole is big enough to encompass your, you know, your, your ear in there, and it's, but you're not. it has a nice felt back so you're not hitting the drivers or anything like that. So uh, nice, comfort-wise they're really good. A nice plush memory foam type up here as well, same leatherette material. Uh, highly adjustable uh, as well, so a nice click-in feature as you can you can see in here. And then obviously I already kind of covered the, uh, the buttons, but yeah, you have your multifunction, your volume up, volume down, your ANC, your charge port, and then your mic for, for your PC. But yeah, these are actually really comfortable headsets. I do enjoy wearing them, so yeah, pretty good. Now, gaming with these. So let's get on to gaming with these. If you're gaming on a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox and you're using the power of just the headphones, they won't be loud enough. Uh, well, they're not loud enough for me. They may be loud enough for you. However, if you're starting to game with these on a PC that you have a DAC, which I use a DAC for my PC because I have some Sennheiser HD 598 SEs. That's a mouthful. Very comfortable headset. Had these for like seven years and they require a DAC to drive for them to sound decent, right? To sound good. Uh, but happy with those. And then I also have some Steel Series as well, uh, which these I usually use on my Xbox and sometimes on PC. But I do prefer my Sennheisers over these because uh, I can, uh, well, they have a little bit more rich crispness out of the Sennheisers than these do, although these have a lot better mid bass. And then, of course, the Blue D ones here. So I'm comparing them all three. So I have some, some, uh, some preferences of sound, right? And sound is pretty uh, subjective amongst individuals. but. Uh, these sound really rich sounding and uh, so they have a nice crisp highs and a really good mid bass, not a low bass like say, uh, oh, uh, well they don't have really good low bass, uh, but they have a good mid bass and nice crisp highs. So if you're driving these with a DAC uh, on the PC, I really like these. I actually started the game with these, well I've been testing them all week, right, but I prefer when I switch back to my, um, my Sennheisers right there. I like the richness of these better than the Sennheiser. And so I game a lot just uh, with, with sim racing, obviously the sim racing channel, uh, in cockpit of the car. And so in the cockpit of the car, you tend to have a more muffled sound naturally because your windows are up and it's more muffled. It's supposed to simulate a more uh, dampened sound, right? They definitely come through too dampened to me, for me for the headset. However, when you're driving them, I can easily turn the volume up loud enough to push the speakers make them sound really crisp and more vibrant uh, and then what it ends up happening is it's too much bass and so I have to turn the bass all the way down to like 25 percent and uh, on my on the software on the computer that I use and um, it sounds just right and especially if you're playing let's say like Forza Motorsports the 2023 version uh, if you turn your environmental sound down all the way off 
it, it cleans up that muddiness naturally that's in the cockpit of the car. So it's just a little tip. And uh, these sound really good. I like them. Now, if I go to the outside of the car, uh, it's, it's too loud for me with the same volume level. So I'll run like maybe 50% volume level inside the car. If I run outside the car, I got to turn down 30% because they're too loud uh, for me at that point. So it's very interesting. If you overpower these, <laughs> they, they come alive for sure. And then also when I'm outside of the car, it's a little bit too high pitched of the sounds of the transmission whine and the, and the crackle of the exhaust and the uh, screech of the tires and stuff. I want more bass in there is what I'm getting at. So I'll turn the bass back up to 50%. And uh, man, they sound really good. So for someone that pay, plays a lot third person uh, in in uh, driving simulators, yeah, the, uh, these are they sound good both ways, right? But keep it in mind, you have to do a little bit of a EQ adjustment settings for yourself to uh, feel nice about what you're wearing on your head. So all in all, really good headset here, super light. So let's get on to conclusion. All right, the conclusion of these BD. Dash BH200 wireless headsets is active noise counseling headsets. Who are they for? I think this is for the traveler myself. And then if you want a game uh, on the go with say your uh, your phone or your uh, your Nintendo Switch or something like that, you need to plug in your jack and stuff. Uh, you could carry these and use that just fine. You may be a little you may want more volume with your little gaming rig set up uh, because they don't generally have a lot of amp. Ampl amplification in these uh, but then once you go to your phone they sound right they sound good they're at the volume that <clears throat> you should probably be at uh, but not too loud and then obviously if you're someone that wants to game with these as far as a dedicated gaming you probably wouldn't have even looked for these as, as a category but you'd be surprised that once you overdrive them with a DAC if you're a gamer that has a PC gamer that you have a DAC on there that you can overdrive these You'd be pleasantly surprised that these sound really dang good uh, to have a nice crisp highs, a real full bass, and uh, just a real rich sound overall uh, when you're overdriving them. So, yeah, it's a, a pretty good travel set here, I think. Noise canceling uh, works really good. Oh, and one last feature I do like is when I am gaming on the PC, I can hook up two uh, Bluetooth devices at one time. So I have my phone hooked up to it as well. So when I get a call, it mutes the uh, in-game sound for me. I can talk, and then uh, when I hang up, in-game sound comes back to live. You cannot have both running at the same time. Uh, so if you wanted to have uh, music playing off of your phone through these and listen to in-game music, you can't do that. So, but for the price, I didn't really expect that either. So yeah, I hope you like this review uh, of these uh, Blue D B D B H two hundred headsets here. If you have any questions of something I may not have covered. Leave your comments below. I'd be happy to answer them. And uh, until next time, I'll see you on the track. I'm out.